Hello, my name is Peter, and today I'm going to do an update on my Rajapuri banana. But first, if you do like these videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you'll be notified when I release new videos. So today I thought I would do an individual update on the uh, Rajapuri banana, um, and that's because there's a bit more to talk about on this uh, plant on its own and also I want to do separate videos on some of the other varieties that I've got in ground. Um, so yeah I'm going to be doing a few standalone videos on some of these in ground bananas. So the Rajapuri, um, I planted this in the ground I think it was the end of May. Um, I'll just show a clip of what it was like when I first, uh, about a week or so after I planted it in the ground. So as you can see in the when I first planted it, it only had a, a few leaves um, after recovering from dieback over winter. Um, it has been a fairly slow grower this year, um, but I'd say in the last since the last update I did, it has grown quite a lot um, faster. I think because the temperatures have been um, pretty uh, good. Um, at least during August and so far into early September uh, and then we've also had quite a bit of rain uh, in the last couple of weeks which has also helped uh, help them grow a lot faster uh, it's now been putting out a leaf pretty much every week um, I know in the uh, in warmer uh, countries where they get much warmer summers than us. Um, this would have probably grown at least four or five feet in one growing season. Whereas uh, here it's probably about one and a half foot or something like that. It's not very tall overall. Uh, but I am quite pleased with the progress of it. Um, however, there was something that caught my attention yesterday. Uh, when I was inspecting my plants, uh, I, I give them a check over at least once a day, if not a couple of times a day. I did notice there was this little pup um, that just started to push through the uh, the mulch. Um, so I noticed that yesterday morning. Um, so I was quite excited to see that because um, this particular variety is extremely difficult um, and rare to get hold of in the UK. Um, in fact, probably in Europe in general. Uh, I know it's more common to get hold of in uh, other parts of the world. Um, however, here in, in the UK it's extremely hard to get hold of. So I've been wanting to get an additional plant um, from, this, from this main plant uh, for quite a while now. And then, as you can see, at the back, I noticed this morning um, that there is another pup uh, that's also pushing up. So this was um, very exciting uh, for me, because, again, like I said, how difficult they are to get hold of. Um, I wanted to have at least one or two backup plants, um, just in case anything happened to this one. So I'd have a, a backup as an emergency, um, since it took quite a long time to source this particular plant and um, also cost quite a lot of, um, to get it imported into the UK as well. But yeah, um, this is extremely exciting. Um, as you can see, they're both very small at the moment um, and I expect it's going to take at least a month before they'll get to a point where they might might be possible to separate. So yeah, you can see a little bit better on from this side. Um, this is what I was hoping for uh, by planting it in the ground. It might encourage it to push out pups. Um, and what you find usually with bananas is once they um, go into pup production mode, they sometimes produce more than one. Uh, so it's even possible it could be another uh, another pup or two might push out somewhere. Um, but I am happy that I've got uh, two potential 
new plants here. Um, it's going to take quite a bit, I would imagine, before I'll be able to separate these um, these plants from the mother plant. Um, so I'm just hoping the weather. I'm just hoping the weather stays warm enough um, to allow the to allow them to grow enough um, to the point where they may be able to separate them. I've not completely decided how I'm going to overwinter this plant yet. Um, the Rajapuri is considered to be one of the uh, most cold tolerant uh, varieties of banana, which is one of the main reasons I wanted to grow it. It's also a, a dwarf variety of banana. Um, so it shouldn't get too big before it decides to uh, flower. They were the two main reasons I've wanted this plant for so long. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still debating whether I should dig it up and pot it up in the, uh, and grow it, keep it inside to keep it warm, and potentially grow inside. Um, there is also the option of um, effectively bare rooting it and keeping it in a cool, dark place. Um, but I've not fully decided yet. There is also the option of keeping it in ground and um, protecting it uh, in a similar way to the Baju. As it's not as cold tolerant as the Musa Baju, I'm guessing I may need to uh, give it further protection. Uh, I might need to give it um, extra insulation uh, with some straw perhaps. Um, but the reason I was mostly ruling that option out is because the due to the risk of losing the plant. Um, so I wanted to go for the safest option really. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping now that it has decided to push a couple of pups, uh, I may get lucky and get another one or two. Um, and then I'm hoping I can then separate one or two of them and keep them as separate plants uh, in different parts of the house, um, just to give me a better chance of um, getting some of these through the winter. Yeah, one thing to note if uh, is anyone if anyone wants to try and grow these plants in the UK, um, the chance of actually getting these to flower here would probably be very uh, very low unless we have a extremely good um, set of circumstances um, or a greenhouse. Um, I am mostly growing this as an experiment, really. I just wanted to make that point clear because um, I don't want people to try and go to the same extremes that I do um, with the expectation that they'll get fruit because I'll be honest I'm not expecting to ever get fruit from any um, of the bananas I grow outside. There is a I guess a very outside chance that it's possible if you get um, like I said a good set of circumstances if we get a good spring and you overwinter it well enough and it decides to flower um, late spring, early summer, then it may be possible to have enough time to develop a fruit, um, some, to develop some fruit. But yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be extremely difficult um, to time that all correctly. Um, but yeah, this is a fun, interesting experiment for me. And as I said, I'm going to keep experimenting with uh, different varieties growing them outside, inside, and uh, potentially in a greenhouse if I can get that sorted at some point in the future. So yeah, that's the update on the Rajapuri. I'm going to do, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to do some separate updates on some of the other um, in-ground bananas, as there are also other things to mention on those particular varieties. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching